Pipe for Hudson Pipe, boys. Show them how we stand. Ever shall our team be champion, known throughout the land. Wheaties, breakfast of champions, bring you the thrilling adventures of Jack Armstrong, the all-American boy. And now, Jack Armstrong, the all-American boy. Jack Armstrong is climbing up the dangerous mountain trail to the cave of the glacier. High above him, the towering peaks of the Andes press their eternal snows against the South American sky. And far below lies the valley with its hotel of winter sports. Jack and his friends are seeking Whisper, whom the enemy agent Lazaro has captured and brought to the cave of the glacier. Right now, Uncle Jim leads the way with Senor Quesada, the secret service man whom they rescued from the enemy agents, and Jack and Billy and Betty follow not far behind. But as their footsteps crackle on the crisp snow, Jack's mind is not on the grandeur of the alpine scenery, but on the dangerous mission that lies ahead of them. Listen. We've got to keep our eyes peeled, Billy. If Lazaro and his men discover that we're on the way up to the cave, we won't have a chance. Oh, I know it, Jack. Why, if Lazaro could get rid of the Secret Service men and whisper on us all at the same time, he'd have clear sailing. That's right. He joined the High Yami in the ruined Inca City. And as soon as the High Yami started the Indian revolt, Lazaro would flash the word to all his agents. Oh, but I don't see how Lazaro could possibly know that we're on the way up to the cave, Jack. Lazaro thinks we're still fooled by those fake Secret Service men. Yeah, but just the same, Lazaro knows we won't give up until we find Whisper. He's bound to have a guard placed around the cave. Yeah, and he'll let us walk in and then capture us. Look. Uncle Jim and Senor Quesada have stopped where the trail turns. They must have seen something. Uncle Jim, honey, I hope they haven't run into any of Los Howells' men. Uncle Jim is looking through his binoculars, Jack. Perhaps he's looking at the cave of the glacier. Well, maybe he can even see Whisper. I imagine Whisper and the other prisoners are way back in the cave, Betty. Can you see the cave of the glacier, Uncle Jim? All I see is the glacier, Jack. Be careful there, Betty. Don't get too close to the edge of the cliff. You'd drop a thousand feet if you slipped. Keep close against the mountainside. Oh, all right, Uncle Jim. But where is the cave? Look straight ahead, Betty. And halfway up to the very peak of the mountain. Do you see that glacier? Do you mean that thick white ice that's about to slide down the mountain? That's right. That's the glacier. And great chunks of it are always breaking off and falling down to the valley. Those chunks would become icebergs if this mountain were by the ocean. But Jiminy Christmas, Uncle Jim. Do you mean that the cave is actually in the glacier itself? That's what Senor Casada says. He's been up there before. Ah, Senor, the cave is magnificent. Many people used to climb the mountain to see it. But why don't they go up to see it now, Senor? Oh, the cave, it is too dangerous now. It is too near the edge of the cliff. Very soon it will go over the cliff with a great piece of the glacier. But that's terrible, Senor. Then everyone in the cave will go over the cliff with us. Yeah, that is so. That is why Lazaro is taking his prisoners up there. I couldn't understand why Lazaro took his prisoners up there, Jack, until Senor Casada told me about the cave. The glacier moves very slowly, of course, but the cave's very close to the cliff, and it's almost time for another chunk of glacier to break off. Jumping Jiminy G. Wiz, and Lazaro is going to keep whispering the others there until it does break off. Yeah, that is so. No one would ever find them again. Careful, Billy. Don't go around that boulder. If anyone's watching from the cave, they could see you there. But we ought to keep on going, Uncle Jim. We can't stop here. Senor Quesada knows a different way to go up. We're going to scale the mountainside on our left. We'll go up as high as that rock bench in the mountainside. But, but it's almost vertical, Uncle Jim. That's why we brought this mountain climbing equipment, Betty. What happens when we get to the top, Uncle Jim? We're going to approach the cave in a way that Lazaro won't expect, Jack. We've taken by surprise unless those men of his escaped from the hotel and come up to warn him. I do not think they will escape, Senor. They are guarded by men I can trust. Get your ropes ready now. Make the loop fast around your waist and tie the end of the rope to the loop of the person ahead of you. Senor Casado will go first. I'll follow. Then Jack, Billy, and Betty. You'll be at the tail end, Betty. If you lose your footing, the rest of us can hold you up. But be careful. If you fall, I'll be the first one to get the strain. And if she pulls you loose, Billy, I'll catch it from both of you. I don't want anyone to fall. Senor Casado and I will dig out footholds in the rock with our picks as we climb up. Now, that has already been done, Senor. Before this trail was built to the cave, many mountain climbing parties scaled this cliff. If you look closely, you will see that footholds have already been dug. Oh, good. That will save a lot of time. Here, Jack. Make your line fast to me. And you make yours fast to me, Billy. Okay, Jack. Betty's already tied to me. Boy, oh, boy. This cliff is about as steep as any I've ever climbed. Oh, but suppose one of us falls and jerks somebody else loose. And he jerks somebody loose. Oh, never and mind he... the ifs, Betty. If all that happens, our worries will be over once and for all. We're all ready, Senor Quesada. Ah, that is good. 
You must not look down now. If he's looking down, that makes people dizzy. We've all done a little mountain climbing before, senor. Bueno. Then I shall start. If the foothold is not good, I shall dig it out. I'll follow as soon as the slack and the lines take him up, Jack. All right, Uncle Jim. Billy, you stay far enough behind me to take up most of the slack in your line. Same goes for you, Betty. Then if anyone slips, it won't be so much of a jerk on the rest of us. Okay, Jack. But it's all right with me if nobody slips. Well, I'm going up now. Keep your pick strapped to your back. Golly, Jack, I feel nervous every time I try a climb like this. You'll forget to be nervous when you're climbing, Billy. Oh, do you suppose Lazaro can see us from the cliff, Jack? Not now, Betty. Maybe when we get to the top, he'll be able to see us if he trains his glasses in our direction. But he probably won't be looking for us except down the trail. All right, Jack. Get started. Here I come. If anything goes wrong below me, just yell. We won't have to yell, Jack. You'll know what's happened when you find yourself jerked off the cliff. Well, I'm certainly going to have to stretch to get from one foothold to another, Billy. It's not going to be a picnic for me either, Betty. Well, here I go. Well, keep your line too tight, Billy. Got to have a little bit of slack. I'll watch it, Jack. And don't you come falling down on top of me. Senor Quesada and Uncle Jim would have to fall first, Billy. Come on, Betty. Get started. All right, Billy. Oh, look how high Senor Quesada is already. Yeah, he's moving right along. And we've got to climb just as fast, too. Watch this foothold when you reach it. It's crumbling a little. And there's some ice in this crevice up here, Billy. It's pretty slippery. Hey, Jack, you're moving too fast. There's no slack left in the line. That's because Senor Quesada and Uncle Jim are climbing fast, Billy. Well, they're almost pulling us up. Well, look out, Betty. We're moving faster than you are. Oh, now my line is tight, Billy. Goodness, I feel as though I'll be hoisted up. Look out for the next foothold. It's the one that's tumbling. Oh, 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 Oh. I can climb up now. Oh, it's all right now, Uncle Jim. Keep moving. Boy, it's a good thing we had these lines fast when we started up. How you now, Betty? Feel all right? Oh, I'm feeling a lot better now, Jack. It was just that crumbling knock in the rock that made me slip. Well, I feel a lot better, too. Now that I know what happens if one of us slips. We haven't got much farther to go, Billy. Senor Quesada's climbing up on the rock ledge now. He climbed up quite a ways. But I'm getting dizzy, Jack. That's because you look back, Billy. Don't look down. Keep your eyes on the cliff. Oh, okay, Jack. But boy, oh boy. Will I be glad when we get to the top. How you doing, Betty? Oh, I'm doing fine now, Billy. I'm beginning to like mountain climbing. Well, just wait till you have to dig out a foothold for every step you take. Look, Uncle Jim's at the top now, and Jack's almost there. You can both slip now if you want to, Billy. Casada's made the line fast with his pipe. I just as soon not slip, Jack. Oh, I'm getting so winded, Billy. Are you getting winded, too? I'll say I am. The altitude's beginning to get us. You're almost up, Billy. Here, give me a hand. I'll pull you up the last couple of feet. I can make a check. Suffering catfish, my heart is pounding like a rivet gun. We'll rest here for a few moments and get our wind, Billy. We really climbed up too fast for this altitude. Look out, Jack. Come up beside you. There's plenty of room, Billy. Hey, Jim, let's take a hand of the line and point, Betty. All right, Jack. You ready? Yep. All right. You probably gasped like one for the next few moments, Betty. There you are. Now, you and Billy lie still and give your hearts a rest. Well, let's see what we've got up here, Uncle Jim. Say, look at that view. Snow and glaciers and white peaks against a blue sky. No wonder people climb up here, Senor Quesada. Ah, oh, the view, it is magnificent, yes. But there is more than the view to see. Look, there is the entrance to the cave of the glacier. And it's right on the edge of that distant cliff, too. Hey, that's still a long way from here. Do we have any more cliffs to climb to get up there? No, uh, there is much snow, senor, but no cliffs. We will walk a long ways through the snow where they cannot see us. We will come upon them from behind. I'll take a look at the cave through the binoculars, Jack. I'd like to make sure that no one's looking at us now. And look, Jack, look far below us. So we can see the hotel and the airfield and the hangars. Oh, they look like little toys. Is anyone at the cave using binoculars, Uncle Jim? Mm, there are two men outside the entrance, Jack. One of them has binoculars, but he's looking down toward the hotel. I wonder what he expects to see. Take a look at the hotel, Uncle Jim. All right, Jack. Let's see now. I don't see anything that... Yes, by Jove, I do. There's someone on top of the hotel. And he's signaling in semaphore. Jumpin' Jiminy, gee whiz, Uncle Jim. That means that one of those owl's men is signaling up to the cave. Then they must be signaling about us. They've discovered that we're on the way to the cave of the glacier. I'm afraid you're right, Betty. 
Yes, you are right. He's semaphoring about us. Well, can you beat that? Now Lazaro will be on the lookout for us. That's right, Billy. And he'll lay some kind of a trap to get us in that cave with Whisper and the others. But that will not stop you, senor. You will go to the cave? You bet we'll go to the cave, senor Casada. And if there's anyone in that cave when the glacier takes it over the cliff, it won't be Whisper or us. So Lazaro knows that Jack and his friends are on the way up. But there's one thing he doesn't know. And that is that Jack is going to drop in on him in a very unexpected manner. Not even Jack himself knows that now. But there are some startling developments waiting for everyone up there in those snow-clad peaks of the Andes. And you'll really miss something if you're not there. So listen in, all of you, at this same time tomorrow, to another exciting episode of The Land of the Sky with Jack Armstrong, the all-American boy. Now remember, you start tomorrow morning. Follow Jack Armstrong's training rules for physical fitness and eat Wheaties for breakfast. A big bowl full of those good whole wheat flakes with milk and fruit. That's the dish for you. Wheaties, breakfast of champions. Have you tried Wheaties? They're whole wheat with all of the brand. This is Franklin McCormick saying goodbye until tomorrow for General Mills, makers of Wheaties, breakfast of champions... We have just presented another episode of Jack Armstrong, the All-American Boy. Oh, just five, the best breakfast food in the land. <laughs>